The first book that we're reading for our Read Across America series is a book that takes place in the Northeast region of the United States, right here in Washington, D.C. And the book is called Rolling Thunder by Kate Mesner, illustrated by Greg Ruth. Rolling Thunder, Freedom Ride. Today, we'll be at Grandpa's side. Early morning, leaving home. Gleaming wheels and polished chrome. Grandpa rides for Joe and Tom. Friends he lost in Vietnam. Clicking, clacking railroad track. Our trip is for Uncle Zach flying airplanes far away. His picture rides with me today. Through my window, buildings, towns, meadows rich with greens and browns. Now our journey's almost done. Obelisk and setting sun. Pentagon and city lights. Finally, our camping sites. Grandpa's friends with arms of steel greet us and prepare a meal. Potomac River, dark and deep, whispered memories, friendship, sleep. Way too early morning light blooms from pink to yellow bright. Lines of bikes are miles long, shining, half a million strong. Rumbling, grumbling, engines roar. Peace signs, high fives, spirits soar. Motors growling, roaring near. Crowds that cry and wave and cheer. Raising flags of white and black for those who never made it back. For soldiers lost in other days, POWs, MIAs. For soldiers serving still today, missing families far away. Rolling, slowing to a crawl, stopping. There it is. The wall. Polished marble, stark and bare. Touch a name and say a prayer. Leave a single flower, kneel, names in charcoal, cry and heal. Memories, speeches, quiet crowd, bugle song and heads are bowed. Setting sun and rising moon Whispered wishes, come home soon. Bound by war, forever tied. One last look, it's time to ride. Rising smoke and glowing ember. Ride for freedom. Ride, remember. And the author's note says, every year on Memorial Day weekend, veterans and their supporters gather in Washington, D.C. for the Rolling Thunder Ride for Freedom, a demonstration honoring America's veterans. Motorcycle no riders number in the hundreds of thousands. Many more come to watch and wave, all with a common message we will never forget. I hope you liked this book, Falcons, and I will be back tomorrow with another book.